Club face is a trigger. Golf ball is a bullet. Now aim and fire. We aim, but we don't fire. We direct. People direct the club. I'm the only guy that fires. Did your legs get narrower or did they get wider, Mo? Going through the ball? Oh, wider. Way wider. Can you show us that? Way wider. That's the other thing and I do. What does so it mean? What is it? They widen. They're not doing that. They're doing. Oh, yes. That's the other thing I do so well. What does that do? Keeps the everything online. Can't get offline. I can't spin. I'm, I'm lateraling too much. I can't spin. Well, show us the wide. And the other players do what? And the right knee goes to where with a... Oh, towards the ball. Instead of in behind this guy, it goes... That's bogey golf. That's double bogey golf. <laughs> oh, yes. Heck. Who's the straightest that ever lived, Mo, do you think? Right here. Other guys' golf balls finished up as straight as me, but it didn't get there straight. They got a little draw or fade. Mine are just like arrows. Mine, from the time I hit the, I, if there's ever a tournament at midnight, I'd be the only guy under par. I, I know right where to walk. Right down the middle. I do, I could do it by just by how it fell. That one's a little, here, look. Just as straight as you can draw a line. But I got the simplest move in golf, even though it's awkward looking. But anybody that knows the golf swing, like you, huh, I'm the first guy you never can tell. You couldn't help in your whole life. I'm the first golfer that ever came to you, and you can't help. You look at me for the first time, look like a 120 shooter. The style, but once I move, oh, man. Huh. And what else does that look like when you do that? Oh. What's that, the Jehovah what? Jehovah Witness, yeah. What does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> and then boom. <laughs> Here's a ball in the divot, Mo, and, and what, do, what do you treat this like? I mean, why do you hit it so straight? You, you're remarkable because you not only hit it out of the divot, but you also hit it solidly and dead straight every time. Because I don't put no fierce into it. Now, the lie, I, I don't let the lie control me. I swing easier, but much smoother when I, when I got to lie like that. Now, you're not going for distance now. You're just trying to advance the ball. That just, you just got a bad break on the fairway. But still hit it dead straight every time. See? But what do people do now? <laughs> Look, I dug for gold. The lie's controlling them. To me, it's there, okay. That's why you got lots of clubs. Get them out. That's why you got two, three, or four, or five wood. It's a, that's where, that's where you take your four wood and just dig it out. Tell us about this style, Mo. Were you ever taught this style, or, no. or did you develop it yourself? All, all, all by myself, just by feel. As I kept hitting five, eight hundred balls every day for 12 years, and just I feel what felt so good to me. No, nobody could teach me this. Who, who would teach you this? <laughs> Should anyone try that? No, 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 just something, something that came to me. What would happen if they tried that? Oh, they wouldn't even touch the ball. <laughs> they wouldn't even touch, they wouldn't even touch the golf ball. <laughs> so you don't recommend what we're seeing then? No, not to people, oh, they couldn't do this, no. I should say not, <laughs> look. Why do you hit it so straight so well every single time? Because of the simplicity, but what else is there? Confidence. And I love my club. I'm married to it. I put them in. There's, there's where, every night, there's, there's where he goes, in my bedroom. Right? Keep him red hot, because I know he's going to hit good shots for me tomorrow. E every A time. Oh, great. Hits it right where, right where I want him to go every time. He never talks back to me. You ever think about distance, Mo? Do you no. ever think about it? Only purity of technique. That, that'll that give me it. But I never think of distance. No, I've never distance or I've never been distance oriented in my life. I know I couldn't do it, so why, why try to do something I know I couldn't do? But purity. It's just a word to you then. Distance. That's all.
But that word purity of technique, that's what I knew I could do. I'm the only golfer lets my swing balance me. I'll try and balance my swing. My swing balances me. Because it's so effortless. You have terrific mind pictures, Mo. Do you, do you see it in your mind all the time before you do every shot? Not only see it, I taste it. Oh, no, not only, not only see it, I taste it. Oh, yes, it's choking me. The, the purity of technique is choking me. Oh, yes, I always see it, but I taste it, too. If I could taste that before I hit it. Look. So what do you see? What's the visual pun? I mean, what do you actually see before you swing the forward? Where I want to land the ball on the green. Where I want to land it, on the green. Not short of the green, on the green with the forward. Oh, I can see it now. It's going to land foot on the green. Okay. That one just landed one foot on the green, exactly. Then it rolled up to the hole. How would you describe your divots, Mo? Dead square, dead square to the target. At the same depth. No part is deeper than any other part. If I hit off your head, I'll just take your hair off. I wouldn't touch your head. If I hit off your watch, I'd just scrape the glass. I wouldn't break it. Here, right here, I'm hitting off your head. See? Didn't even touch the ground. Didn't even touch the ground. See? Bacon strips, not pork chops? Oh, that's every shot I hit. Strictly bacon strips. Never pork chops, no. Here's another one right off your watch. Okay. Still 12 o'clock on your watch. Oh, yeah. Yep. Modern swing mode seems to go around the player more, and your, your swing seems to stay in the fairway. Is that one of the thoughts you have, keeping oh, your hands in the fairway? Oh, yes. Keeping your arms in the swing fairway? Swing through the golf course. Could you show Not us around. that? Swing through the golf course. Okay. Never let my hands get out of play. Never. Oh, they're always in play. Look at so where do they go then? Oh. They're going out of play almost. Oh, back here, around here. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> they're trying to do figure eights. You got such a marvelous, that's probably the... the All right, where are you? Let's see what they got on my store. Bob this shit's back. <coughs> yeah, same stuff. So we can do career now, can we? Fucking something else. Let's do it. Let's do it. What would be a heretic? The work's done. I like the ocean. Of the U.S. at historic Southern Hills Country Club in the bustling city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner. We will check in with Nota Begay the third and Diona Steven as we move Hi. along. But I'm pleased, as always, to be What's joined on, in the 18th guy? Tower by a man who won 15 well. times around the world, Frank Navalo. 
And Frank, looking forward to what should be a fun afternoon of golf. Yeah, very much so, Rich. When you waited all morning, those afternoon rounds are a little special, aren't they? I'm really looking, though, for today Stay. to see if they nice. come out of the gates nice and quick. That's for sure. That's I know the finish here is always important, but get out of the gates quick and then see if you can finish the job this afternoon. Let's try, right? Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look right. at birdie. And this is a nice, smooth right to lefter. This is the go zone. Hmm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. So that's in for his par, and he'll remain even for his round. Nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. I think we're going to be happy with that. Got every we, bit on of the that power that all the way there and got it to stop. That would have been Home pretty long, on the I par think. five. Mm, that really could have paid off that previous shot, but the eagle, not to be. Okay, a well deserved birdie yeah, there, and it sure. puts him into red figures as well, moving to one under par. I'll tell you where I... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Right. 74 yards here as he's set for his second. Sometimes I can't get it out. Not we much to this one. Him. It's for birdie. I. Hmm. He'll say he should have made that. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that not is the best bar. putt in here. I'm not fully to blame either, I don't think. Yeah, that will get a little bit of run. Mm. That will be just fine. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 13 feet away. Not a problem. That's for birdie, and that score moves to two under par. 
So for Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Oh, it's only like two rounds until we level up. Four rounds, that is, of course. What are we all hold on? There's gonna be someone to head apart. We'll do this. You were tripping out. You were coming down. EA Sports, so proud to bring you continuing coverage of the world of golf today from the spectacular Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. With Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green. Rich, I, I know people always say putting's important. Whoa, I'm not going right. to say it's overrated. All right, okay, I'm not playing there. Green, if you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways, greens. That's the secret. Let's head out to the course and pick things up at the par 3 15. You've been carrying around. No. And that one not on the green, but oh, not a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Play it out. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Now, got that up too high, and it didn't want to come back. One Let over for go. the deck. Oh, God, yeah. And that is dead center right down the middle here to start the hole. bit of an awkward distance for this his second yep played that nicely that'll work out just fine this will slide a bit right it's for birdie yes yeah. well done there and back to even par now on the day Man, this is mad, this course. Uh. I just ran out. Okay. Long drive. Okay. But a bad lie. Uh, wicked. I don't trust you anymore, EA. Wow, Frank, how about that shot to this par five? Incredible, Rich.
Well, you don't see this very often. A tap-in eagle following a sensational second shot to this par five. Songs about you. Bam. Big lash. You might be able to cover this. I'm gonna have them back. Fucking hell. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Second shot now at the home hole. Ball is in the rough, but has a chance to get this within birdie range with a good shot. That's the modern game. Huge tee shot, little shot, get in close, and a potential birdie. You bet. Easy as can be. That's in for birdie. What a day of golf we saw out there today, Frank. It was a lot of fun. Wolf Creek is, is just oh, an God, amazing that. experience. I'm not playing that in To imagine that they could build a golf course. Never be heaven Right, where are we? A bit in national. What to do? What is making it go back? players I can't remember if we won this let's have a look We've not play. All right, let's give it a well. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Liberty National Golf Club, it's live first-round coverage of the New Jersey Challenge. This is gonna be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. Your leader is Adam Scott. He's Adam a Scott good start at six under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer in good form coming into this one fresh off a victory a week ago and that will settle in the bunker so an early test here at the first yeah, normally you'd rather the uh, the early test come a little later on in the round uh, but you know he should have a better than average chance to go for the green from here oh that's okay. close a good out and that's what will remain for birdie and this will be a five-foot putt here. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And he will very quickly move to one under par. 
You take those okay. all day long. We'll Hungry, have a put there. Chance for birdie coming up. Although Let's there's some crazy break at my feet. At birdie. Yeah, this is one he's got to get just right. It's a tough putt moving back to his right. How that moves right instantly. I'll never oh, fucking know. I've never had a chance. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And he'll remain at one under par. A little bit of draw on it. Nice. No issues here. That is into Oh, wow, the we nearly drove it. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Set. Very makeable eight footer for Birdie. My miss is typically left because I draw it, right? And I'm on normal. So I typically miss left. Okay, nice if I do a really bad pass, though, it goes three. right, I think. But if I just do a little miss, it's normally like a, like a yard or two left. Typically. Not always, but... So yeah, that fast has stayed a little right, I think. I don't know. Well, Ione has had a good look. Now this for birdie. From what I can see, it's going to move from left to right at the start of this putt. And then it will kind of straighten out as it goes along. Don't you know where you come from? Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. No. You can have a blue. Blue just means it's less than 0%. So you can okay, have an underswing slow, which will be four. both blue we'll numbers. Right? Under. A fast and an overswing are always red. But you can get mixtures of both. So I can underswing and fast, right? And that might balance out. Because if you add up the two percentages, that's the power difference you're getting. So yeah, look, I underswung there by 1.2%, but I fasted by 0.2%, which is equal in a plus 1% power. Or minus 1% power, sorry. And that is going to wind up just fine. A back right hole location here as he gets set for his second to the par 4. Uh. Yeah. 1.4% fast, take away 0.5% equals that 0.9% plus power. A great opportunity here for Birdie. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And he'll move to three under par. Just three back. See, I look the fast. 
Kept it right, I think. That's yeah, how I do. Nice swing so, which is the opposite is to 2K, but that might mean because that you get to choose your shot type, right? So I naturally draw it, right? So that's why most of my misses are left. I don't know, though. I'm not fully versed on the ins and outs of the swing mechanic. That's my understanding of it. So far. See, look, look how far left that's gone. That's my miss, you see. Yeah. That just came out blazing. It's working today, so we can play career again and do our do our objectives. Oh. How's Dan Dan doing? Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back to back birdies here on this front side. And he'll get it now to four under par, just two shots off the lead. Well, I'm looking forward to doing more dredge later. That, is, that game is so good. This starting toward the right side. Poor really had a heartbeat well, moment stop two inches away from the hole, so. Long. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. He's got a hundred and eighteen yards today. to the front portion <laughs> of the green, one three six all the way to the hole, pin just on. Now coming so out yeah, of the rough, try and this in. generate that spin. Grass gets caught between the we club head and the ball. Shot. It's so going to be long, unfortunately. Very long. Whoopsie. Ooh. It's been a good start to the round and more evidence there. Beautiful touch from around the green. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain at four under. I don't know Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Try and draw this in, but I don't think it's going to stop. <coughs> I'm not drawing it enough either. That's off target. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Really need a birdie right now. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie Hello. at number eight. How's it going? And he'll move to within a shot of the lead at five under par. Is that uh, what people call you? This is fine. I'm okay with Hey, and thank you for the follow, but they appreciate that. Bit on the left. He just keeps motoring. Oh, right nice. Along. Another good tee Yeah, shot I remember right your name. Breeze at his back shoulder. I just as can't remember what you go by. I hope it was okay. A Lumga key.
Oh, uh, not another heartbeat moment. This is my second one today. If this one lands two inches short again... Is he gonna Resident stay Evil in? Two, I mean, is he gonna stay in? Wait a minute. From that distance, Calm yourselves. Okay, we've green, marked an feet. eagle on the uh, scorecard. One, no feet left. Fucking Never hell. The boy in the dark. Watch. It's down the bottom of the barrel. You just don't know anymore, do you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I guess it got the 90% air, but that ball actually went through that tree. Hmm. If I hit the button in time. Oh, I did. I want you to know. Yeah, I've been just doing a little bit of the uh, career mode. I want an Yeah, I think they've done two. They've done and some server maintenance. Yeah, so I think they've um they fixed the thing in career mode. Um, where playoffs weren't working, they fixed the, you know, when you log in and you get loads of rewards from your tournaments, but it just keeps cycling through them and you get in a loop. Uh, that's fixed. Uh, a couple of other things, I can't remember what. I think they detailed them in their tweet yesterday. Can have a look. Let's find out. If I'm not blocked by that account. Is it tweet? Maybe not. I know they said they were addressing some stuff. Maybe they posted it in their dis unofficial Discord, maybe. Let's have a look. Okay, it's on Reddit. They need to get a, a Discord going. Yeah, they fixed an issue that was putting players into a repeating loop when trying to claim tournament rewards. Fixed an issue in career mode that was causing some users' game to crash when resuming around the playoffs. Finish the compatibility issue related to certain TVs with Dolby Vision HDR. 
I'm fixing the issue, but because I crashed, it plays change menu tabs too quickly while tooltips were enabled. <laughs> People are posting my clip on that fucking Reddit. Amazing. It's like the second one on the Reddit there. <laughs> I'm everywhere. How do you play online? So for online, you've got a couple of options. You've got the the head-to-head -head matchmaking, which is pretty bare, to be honest. It's just got Amen's Corner and... What, well, Amen Corner? And like a nine hole random. That could well be a bug. So there's that side. The I said amens, but it might sound like amens. All right, it's amen corner, right? Um. The tournaments are pretty cool, but they're all like, you don't see people on the course, right? But they're cool. There's dailies and weeklies and uh, seasonal tournaments uh, across a number of stroke play set up. So, like, the dailies are four holes or nine holes, and then you've got, like, the seasonal, which will be, like, a back nine, a front nine. Or a full 18. And then you got private mode, which is currently just stroke play. They need to get on that really quickly. The fact I can't play alt shot with buddies is a massive killer right now. And it's all fine when people are leveling up. But as soon as we're done with that, we're going to want more modes. Yeah, so you've only got that one tournament right now every 12 hours, which pays out 1,500 uh, coins if you win it. Yeah, you can have a link to the Reddit. Um, you can get quite a bit, though. I think career mode's good for the grind, right? Now, you don't get very much for this kind of event, but if you play the majors, you get between 3,550... All the way up to 6,550. So I think the first major you get that 3,500. But if you win the Tour Championship, you get a nice big stack of coin. That's where I got the 6,300 from. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. I think the players plays pretty well too. And you can get some good rewards for those as well. I highly recommend doing the British Open, the Open. Right, because that gets you a really good um, ball spec. It gets you a legendary ball spec. As well as for like three to 4,000 coins. Long. Chance now for another birdie. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. It's not a million miles, though. 
yeah we we've got four versions of that i just don't know which one to use well one of them's just been no which we will use here at 12. and he'll stay um, at seven under well yeah we will get that added it add it as a blurb some of the other bits from that clip it's annoying because the first the best line has the commentator talking in the background no problems there that's gonna wind up safely in the fairway i don't think i know uh, a way i can clean that up well i've had one miss already today fox and like, the second one i weren't sure about look Yeah, that's that where I was going to be. Yeah, we can go over the options and add them on to blurp in a bit. And decide together what we put on the channel. Oh, it's never going to stop, were it? Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. You're all having a good... Really nice shot. Wednesday? Question mark? Yeah, Wednesday. And he'll remain right where he is. Look at these long reeds or so whatever they are, they look super cool. Uh, uh, that ain't pretty, is it? I might just go straight at it. No. It's just for win. The wind. Going straight down into the heavy rough. What? I can't drop it. Are you kidding? Game. A flag stick. Fucking yay! I got a stick drop and then a donk, doink, off of a flag stick. And the icing oh, on the cake. What's happened on this hole already? That is just I missed my putt. Okay, so that me. one finished off. Right. Oi, Pathfinder, how's it going? I've got a, a fucking fence to hit over. And that will do just fine. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 157 yards left. Would not surprise me a bit if you were to stick this one close. Yeah. Uh, good nice. Shot. 
safely on the green and a birdie I'm glad you're almost done, mate. Hope it's not been too long of a work day. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll mm. wander a couple of feet by. Mm -hmm. Okay, a solid par. Here He's getting started there today. And he'll stay at five under. Still in a better career mode. One of the events I've not won yet, so we're trying to get a win here. Just round one though, so lots of golf to play. That might run up, you know. That might run up, you know. I'll take that. I mean, that is yeah, it's been a big, big, a big 24 a hours. Shot we just saw. We're approaching on half a million views on TikTok. In one. Approaching 400k on Twitter. It's been wild. Appreciate everyone liking, retweeting, all that good stuff. It's been, it's been mega fun. Not in the tweet go like that ever. Right, what you so want, uh, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. Yeah, it's fun. Shouldn't be much fine. in this. Hey, hey rock boy. Thank you, poor fellow. Welcome on them, buddy. Hope you're having a good day. Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. So simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Nice. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. Nope. Just don't move at all, uh, okay. My bad. I shouldn't have moved that. He was straight. No control. No problems there. That's a par. You're at 17. Chris, how's it going? Remain at six under par. Aye, aye. I don't know what the um. Where are we? I don't know what the challenge is for this whole this course. Yeah, yeah it's well, getting a lot of hits. It's crazy. That. that is a fine tee shot right there. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. Crazy. No, that's bad. That's a bad shot. Oh. 
Oh, how about the touch right there? Very well done. Hard to do much better. All right, that's that. round one it in my box. We'll one shot back of Alina. Oh no, Kalina, sorry. Okay, safely in for his party. Ah, that one bow game. And that will go in the books as an opening round 65. Yeah, yeah, standard. that's right. Our featured golfer right there after day one. Yeah, you got 100 tie, skill points to spend. Board. Everything to play for Total. these next three rounds. I mean, you couldn't really sit up. I got number six coming, show. right? I think. Am so that's I just about 46 do it. now? Or is that eight coming? I'm 47, nearly 48. So I've got another six coming. I actually took a point out of power and put it in, like, accuracy. And I'm getting... I see. I think that might move away. <clears throat> I'm going to have a look at what, where I put that in. So far. So that's where we're at right now. We're on six power. Seven driving accuracy. Five driving accuracy control. Approach. We're at eight accuracy. Eight control. Six recovery. Short game. We're at nine accuracy. Eight control. Eight recovery. And then free putting. I took a, I put loads of points in my putter just to see if it would make any difference, and I didn't notice any difference. Not on the greens, at least. But yeah, that's my current setup right now. The cool thing is, it's quite easy to take points out and respec. It's 200 per skill point. But yeah, it's nice having all the short game shots. And recovery, right? I'm not sure where I put my next points. Maybe. Because I need what? I need eight points to get there. So there's a chance I take a point out of. There's a chance I take a point out of here and get two points back and then put it in power. But before I get there, there's no point sitting on points. So I put them in like accuracy. Is there an advantage after you get the gold badge? Um. All right. So what you mean, like, what am I getting if I miss? If I put another two points in that, it's just gonna help the miss hit window, right? Outside of the shot types, like each thing. So short game, right? The higher you have that, the more natural spin you get. And then short game recovery decreases the impact of accuracy penalties. So, yeah. Well, I, I, I run seven putting and I saw no difference. I missed the same putts I would have missed before. And it costs so much to get putting up, right? If you want 10 putting, that's 26. It's 30 points, right? That's a fairly your points almost. So I just get it so I get the Texas wedge. I, mean, I can still bomb my driver at that um, power. <laughs> Uh, let's go to quests. We can put my career difficulty now. We've got the PGA Championship. So, yeah, we got to finish him a top 80. Win it. What about mastery? And we got a eagle for sick pole. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's mental, right? It almost might be too much. So I can't tell. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Jersey City and Liberty National Golf Club, it's live second round coverage of the New Jersey Challenge. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For it others, is on YouTube. It's, it's not done very well on YouTube. Weekend, as we show you the leaderboard. I think my channel is so old. At the top I think it's been partnered. Long. It's been unpartnered. Included among like, them I think is the golfer any we'll stuff on that old channel as this should prove to be is a up against round of golf. the algorithm big time. So it's rare, but stuffed as well there. But yeah, I put up a shot. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Let's see what that sound. Uh... Do you love the wine? And over your cup. Oh, boom. TikTok has passed half a million views. What's going on? The exact same video on YouTube has 233 views. Like my gold spinner is the just tee shot. You put worth, yourself in that worth kind of a position in the fairway just short of the green, and good things are bound Going to happen. Going back to my skill points. This okay, a well played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And with it, he'll take over the top <clears> spot on the leaderboard here on this Friday. Back enough. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good right, safe Danny. play in the middle portion of the green. We'll get the hole in one You're eventually, in. right? Steven. This a putt for birdie. I'm never gonna get a clip yeah, like that again. Yeah, a pretty one. So, a little bit of break from left to right. Really yeah, not a I'm lot. I'm with you, Danny. Well, that's good touch right there. It's funny though, right? We've that finished off for par. You were the second. The whole chain of events and is just funny right to me. Like is. I shared that video about the 12th hole at Augusta, like pre-masters, and we all like sort of talked about it in our Discord, in my Discord. Like that's the very start of it for me, <laughs> of the clip. And then we get the albatross right before a hole in one. On the same course, mind. Which is arguably way and way rarer and harder. Leader. That ball into the very thick stuff here off the tee. We did have a bounce out. Not like that, but a little similar to the one I got on launch day when we were trying one of the challenges on Pebble Beach. And yeah, we get down to the last achievement required, and that happens. 
You can't, you can't write it better. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. 12 feet still to go. I mean, night before, we tried doing it on Dollgrass and Bunch, didn't we? 17. We spent like half an hour there trying to get a hole in one. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen that. Did you post that? I might have seen that. Just gonna sneak on by. That's crazy. So that safely in, it's a far view at the third. And he'll remain right where he is. What hole was it we needed? The sick. Okay. Hitting a bunch of bastards, eh? Have they mucked about the okay, tempo at all? I'm not, or am I just wide awake today or something? Yeah, I remember seeing that. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. Been old. And he'll stay right where he is. Good evening. How's it going, buddy? Or afternoon, right? Where you are? Oh, look out. That's too far left. Uh, and that ball not wanting to cooperate, and it is into the hazard. I'll just drop it in her point of entry, right? EA? I think we might have to change this to mature. I'm gonna put it in her point of entry. What the fuck? So the drop taken, and now he'll try to find some way to fashion an up and down from where he is and still get out of here with a par. Close. Yeah, number one and number two. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's good part. It is a part. Whole stats after a round, yeah.
Sorry, I can't stop the content creation right now. Put the record. Sorry. Do you have a word from our sponsor while we wait? Apologies. What's the secret to longer drives? Heat up your golf game and drive the ball up to 16% farther with the Hot Biscuits Golf Ball Warmer. If you've ever played golf in cold weather, you know that cold golf balls just don't go the distance. Any golf ball's performance can be vastly improved by heating it to an optimum temperature, and not just on the outside, but to the core, for maximum kinetic energy recovery and greater distance. Other methods of heating golf balls are inefficient and may even cause damage. Only Hot Biscuits plugs right into your automobile cigarette lighter and heats golf balls to their optimum core temperature temperature, then acts as a convenient insulated carrying case to maintain optimum core temperature for up to four hours. Lab tests show that hot biscuits treated golf balls go consistently up to 16% farther than balls at lower temperatures. So what are you waiting for? Heat up your golf game today. Order your hot biscuits golf ball warmer now for a special price of only $99.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-888-HIT-LONG to take advantage of this limited time TV offer. That's 1-888-HIT-LONG. <coughs> So QK are actually doing something pretty cool. Have you heard of this Smurf app? Anyone? It's basically like, think of like Warzone stat apps, but for PGA 2K. Like it, it tells you the stats from every round you've ever played. Local, online, whatever. It's actually pretty cool. I don't really do apps on my phone, so it's not for me, but it's it's pretty cool, actually, if uh, you're interested in that stuff. Um, And there's some community challenge on it, which you can check out. But it's actually pretty cool. I, I, I don't have to tell you about this, but it's pretty cool. If you want to like know all your stats in game, like I say, it's like a Warzone stat tracker app, but for PGA 2K. Well, he obviously had enough to get it to the... Just uh, I don't know. Like I say, I've not used it. Doyle was all in on it. No. He looks at stats, right? Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. <laughs> okay, well done there. It's a birdie here at the sixth. And he gets it to two under for today's round and eight under for the tournament. If it's good enough for Doyle, it's good enough for a lot of you. Right. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, 
hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did, right there. I think Matt tweeted about it. That's a good place to look for how it works. Yes, I... Nothing changes, this rearranges. This time... Just all fast today, isn't it? Hmm. I need to get better at these chips. Once we go to Air Fox and these try to jug it or <coughs> I need a chipping tutorial. Oh, like that. Start to feel it now. Two straight birdies and three like under for the round. Got it. Is it not too low? It's quite low actually, isn't it? Yeah, about right. Didn't quite get up there. To be thrilled with that second shot uh, here the par five, Frank got everything out of that. Put in yeah, did well just to advance the ball so eh, far down the fairway. Hit him from yeah, like 180 to 240 in on par fives or long par fours. It's tough to dial it in. The wind is the hardest part of this game. You get high winds in career. You're battling. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole and a good chance now for another birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Like this is a way easier shot in 2K, right? This is a crosswind. Even other. Underrated? I don't think it's underrated. No, it's it was bad. the good biggest shot. song of the day. It was one of the feet, most played so a good shot. music really videos awesome on MTV2. I don't think it's underrated at all. I think it's, it's great. It's got my best groove section coming right now. I mean, Todd McFarlane did the music video, right? Oh man, the speed! It was massive on. over Good here. Putt, but nothing to show for it. Ray Cohen's biggest song over here. That or blind or 
Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. Yeah, maybe blind. And he's gonna go out in 32, four under par. You've seen my music video, right? Divine. Yeah, okay. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. One of the most iconic here. album covers as well. One of the best, right? That Tom McFarlane. So, so iconic. I think it's more iconic than issues. Right? Even though the doll is very good. I think I used to have a t-shirt with that album cover on the Tom McFarlane girl hopscotch Never ever follow Never follow We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at Birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Wants to see. Okay, safely in for his par. Right. And the lead's gonna remain two. Wants to see. Not enough. That one safely on the putting surface. A long one coming up here for Birdie. Bad breathe. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Never see, so come dance with me. So that. Rushed in for par here at 11. Rum, bada, boom, rum, bada, boom, rum, bada, boom, rum, bum, bada, boom, rum, bada, boom, rum, Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Should have moved it left. Eight feet Might down. Been on the target. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. It's mushed. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow-through, and a good start to this hole. going on with the, these patches can you see them like a big rectangle there it's a 
part of the fairway texture, I guess. That was tough, right? Almost a great shot. Just missed it a fraction to the right of this green here at the par five. Yeah, a bit of chip and a putt. Still make four. Like par five is proper play. So different in this game. No. Chance now. No. Another bird. Not on that scale. Nah, that's gonna slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position. But How are you, mate? Anyway, finish it off. Appreciate you commenting on the tweet and that, helping it blow up. Okay, that one finished off. We're apart. Yeah. Right? It's a good clip. I'm glad. I'm glad it happens. Yeah, a little under might be good eh? I like the looks of this one. Or not. Oh, yeah, that's all right. very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and a good look upcoming. A nine-footer now for his birdie. Ah, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. And he draws three shots clear on this Friday. able to hang on it's into the bunker gonna have to flight this a long way his second out of the bunker I should have gone up a club no, that's there. That's a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly well, close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. We're away from a band. Just five feet left. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Now this for another birdie. Straight into the cup. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. And he's now the leader by four here on this Friday. Perfect like me. I fucking like it.
Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. All right. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll remain four clear of the field. Oh. That walkway looks cool, doesn't it? Am I right? I'm simply not familiar with this course at all. I think I've ever seen it being played. It's cool, though. He just keeps moving right along. Another good tee shot right there. Second shot. Now it has to be careful because that breeze can be tricky at his back. You don't want to over club. Here we go. Love play. And final iron shot of the day, and it is one of the best we've seen here at the closing hole. This only about five feet for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. And that is going to be a superb second round score. That's the LA under 63. That. Wow. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Oh, maybe level up. 180,000 for the next level. And it's going to be 200,000, isn't it, for the last level. What does that get me? Gold hack. Let's do it. Fuck it. Uh, like 60, I think now. We were 50 some, 58 or something when I before I started today. So yeah, close to 60. Third round there, let's get it done. Live third round coverage of the New Jersey Challenge. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a commanding five shot lead here as he has been spectacular thus far. With that breeze coming off the left, it was an excellent tee shot, held it up against the breeze. So a big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. Uh, 
Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Now, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Yeah, nice shot there, right of the hole, and he'll have that for his birdie. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second, and he moves to 15 under. Let's go. Not that way. Damn it. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Working from the rough, here's his second at three. Eleven feet away. I hate it. I hate it. No. Nope. That one finished off. It's in for par, and he'll remain well in control of this tournament. That's Just a shot, isn't it? Perfect right there. Very well done. Kicking Bernie. Not much to that. It is a birdie here at four to 16 under par. Hey. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rock. Big hit, though. This could be a good one. Oh, he's come out of the gates today beautifully, and there is another chance. From four feet for birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he moves to 17 under par. All right. This is more than we need to eagle. We've got wind in our face, unfortunately. That might help with the approach if we can get there, actually. No issues here. That is into the fairway. 200, yeah. Set. 
Oh, yes. Well, that worked out really well. Okay, we got a chance. Short, gets that little bump onto the green. This will... This is Puma Chapter. Scorecard, Frank, if this putt goes down for an eagle. Well worked out second shot, Rich. You could not fly that ball on the green and expect it to finish up on that front third. I like it here, right? Take advantage of a par five. It's in for nice. an eagle three. Superb. Yeah, so we're living in national chapter one is complete. Now we just gotta hit like 60 greens and reg, 52 fairways and reg, and 26 birdies for chapter two. But yeah, we'll get a little bit of coin for that. Field. Eagle on the previous hole, just swinging easy and just stripes another one. Uh, you playing with house money? Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. Well, he's looking at 108 yards to the front, 148 to the hole. Swinging it great today. Would not surprise me if he stuck it close. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. This from about 10 feet. Ah, yes, runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seven. And he gets it to 20 under par. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Uh, punk. Oh, wow. Oh, that second shot just ran out of fairway, but still, nice little pitch shot and a good chance to make four at the par five. He's been automatic yeah. on this front side. This for birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he moves to 21 under par. so simple when you're going good doesn't it and that is yet another solid drive a left to right breeze something to consider here as he eyes mm. this second shot ah uh, yeah okay we might have a chip it um yeah Wait, last time, didn't it? Oh. Oh, is that any good? 
perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. Fantastic. That could have gone in for the same price. Just a tap in there for par at the none. Family. That'll finish off a 29 on this front side. Seven shots under par. Oh, it's lucky. Well, somehow, that ball's got through the other side of the tree and really hadn't lost that much yardage. Now, note of his second from the fairway. On the number at 150 yards to the front, 150 to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Right, that's okay. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Can in there. Uh... Ah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie, and that means he'll get it to 22 under par. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Man, the size of a putt left. Nope, good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. So when's this is season three out for Warzone now? I'm totally out of, out of the loop. And we've got to use play rounds, I see, for the one shots. Oh yeah, there's a 21 gig update that's chilling in my... Steam download queue. I'm guessing that's it. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Go. Oh. Uh. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. Not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul. Like, ball, even there, when you shouldn't use it, it's still good. Let's see you can how just good do a little. <laughs> oh, man. 
Just do a little half swing, no can't you? Dial Boom. In, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular <laughs> round of golf. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I love it. This game's so rewarding at times, right? Such a good riff, isn't it? This. No. We're on this time. And that one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. We double bogey there, like didn't we? Because we were like fucking well, five foot long. It's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can rough. take dead aim. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. Uh, oh, where is that going? Struggling there on this hole. Side. Ball's back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. It's 125 yards to get you to the front portion of the green. 139 yards will get you to the flag. Wind coming from behind, so you'll need to be careful where you land it. I hit the fucking flag again. Man, this game can be cruel. Nearly this pulls game. it, but the ball ricochets off the pin and comes to rest off the green. Oh. Didn't trust the read there, and that's gonna cost him. Oh. 
Okay, a bogey here at the 15th. And it'll wind up a rare drop shot. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Come on, are you kidding? A third eagle of the round? That is not something you see every day, I promise you. Man. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. On the swing kill that needed maybe half a club more there. I probably needed a bit more anyway. Needs to get up and down to save par. No. Yeah, that's good call. It is in for par here at 17. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Beautiful tempo to that swing. This is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 151 yards left. Have to calculate the wind coming from right to left. Good chance at one. Thanks. Which is up, eight or nine feet. <laughs> Not that bad, but it is a great approach. Up. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Yeah, it's a Birdie at the last. And that won't quite get them into the 50s, but you know, that's quibbling. This is a round of 60. So a final look at the leaderboard. Gold, this he? has just been a runaway right. so far. Our final round there. Miles Let's head in into it. Win it. Eight. And check another box off, right? EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Liberty National Golf Club in the Garden State, it's live final round coverage of the New Jersey Challenge. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Our leader is indeed our featured golfer. It has been a textbook performance to this point. All right, so that one settles in the bunker. What kind of an early test is this here at the first, Frank? Well, I was hoping for the fairway. That didn't happen. Now he's in the bunker. I'm hoping he can still hit the green.
Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Mm, a good opportunity lost there. God, it hurts, right? Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And he'll remain at 25 under. Solid shots. Nice Sometimes there. Sometimes solid that. throughout the round will win the day. Here we go. Seven footer for birdie. Yes, a good roll there. That's in for birdie. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. That had to be in the rough. The whole way, one more bounce back on the fairway. So can he capitalize on the break here? His second from the short grass. Hmm. That's bright, man. Set. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Now a seven footer. Not that time. That's going to slip on by. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he's going to stay at 26 under par. All right. That's too much. I mean, this is Enough. a clinic in how to play the game. Just keep everything whole high. Give yourself a look for birdie, and that's what he'll have coming up. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll stay right where he is. Oh! Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. No program. This one has a chance to be close. I know it's the second nice. shot off to us, but what an iron shot. I don't care. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And that's going to move him to 27 under par. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Yeah. 
Right. I could have went that a bit, maybe. But so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green, landed so softly. Mm, that would have been a good one to convert on. Instead, that'll be left for birdie. A dead-on look here for birdie. Ah, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. And he moves to 28 under par. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 152 to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. Go. Go. Okay, that'll do. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. the run here that a third consecutive birdie and he'll get that score to minus 29 this one starting up that left side oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into the fairway so in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. No. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Yeah, big explosion. Go. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Oh, everything going right now. That a fourth consecutive birdie. And he's going to move to 30 under par. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. This a little under ten feet. For birdie. Ah, uh, let's say he should have made that. Uh, uh, that's beating. Okay, that's in for his part here at the ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side, five under par. That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Got to think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Ah. Well, we shot. Not as shot as I thought. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Oh, yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is. Let's get um, Warzone downloaded. Cap, though. Let's cap that download limit, please.
That's it. Oh, I don't. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. Okay. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. No. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Right, what record next are we having? Well,
I can't see my fucking swing line now. Where all the elements of his game have been in sync. Tournament. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how. Sorry, fuck. Steam doesn't know how to throttle today. I set it to 10 meg and it's going at 35 megabyte a second. So we paused it for now. Apologies if it got choppy there. Here we go. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Ah, oh, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over but the shouting. Nice yeah, little left. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take that. Well done. Oh my goodness, that is on in one. Wow, what an incredible shot. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Round finishing strong back to back birdies now at 15 and 16. And this is turning into an absolute runaway at the top of the leaderboard. This one starting a little bit left. Showing no signs of a let up here. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Yeah, we're looking at 132 yards to the flagstick, pin all the way at the back. He can fly it the full way. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. That one just going to sneak on by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain well, well under par. All right, let's close this fucker out. Final hole, final round. 
I quite like my cast though. Well, I don't mind playing four rounds on a course I don't know. A tough shot coming up. And this is so been likely fun. no chance to spin this one as he gets set for his second at 18. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Now, from long range, this for birdie. Oh. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. So he'll finish up there. It's a par here at 18. And this is going to be a final round score of 62. What a way to wrap things up. So this a tremendous week of golf. And in the end, for our featured player... Frank gets a third career victory. And a good one. They're starting to come a little quicker. I think confidence is starting to grow. It'll be really interesting these next 12 months to see if they can absolutely springboard from this position. So that should just about do it for all of us. Nice. EA Right, so we'll get some goodies for that. I'm about to break. So we should get 775, I think, for this. Yeah. That's what you get for normal events. Then you will get a little extra for doing the chapter reward there. Like 500, maybe. Yeah. But the majors pay out big time. If you want to grind coin, just skip to the majors. Players is good too. And the FedEx pays the most. Pay 6300 For you. Why can't I? Yay! Well, let me scroll there, please. Oh, it's players. Let's we'll skip this. We've already won it. Although we do get a good coin for it. We can play it any time though. Oh, it's my so great. Oh, actually, I think I needed to win that. It's not the players at all, it was just the sawgrass. Whatever. We'll do banish. 
Oh yeah, so and the PGA Tour proudly let me back presents out of this. the season-long race thing you want to do for the FedEx Cup from beautiful Banff Springs is, uh, in Alberta. Live opening round coverage. I mean, put the settings on whatever you want. If you're struggling with the difficulty, like I play like a custom, I play on normal, normal. But, you know, put, like, you can turn lie effect off. Make sure you have assisted aim on putting. That makes it way easier. Aiming arc would help you. The put read I'm mixed on. I'm not sure how accurate the put read is. I'm covering this up, sorry. Um, but, but the first things you want to do is... Let me get fully out of the way. You want to go straight to challenges, yeah? And then there's the coaching academy. You see this fourth tab here. And then you want to do all the PGA coaching. So this will teach you the basics, right? You have to hit five fairways in regulation, land five balls on the green, adjusting for wind, right? Land five balls on the green. Downhill, right? Adjusting for line, putting basics. So I would do all of these, at least the first two. The first two sections here. These are a bit more difficult, but it does tell you what to do. But yeah, if you do those, you'll get a bunch of XP as well, right? Which will help you. Uh, level up your character. And when, once you've done a few of those, make sure... So, like, say you do all of the basics, right? You'll have free reward packages. Right, so you'll actually get... I'll show you what you get. You get uh, 5,000 XP, 10,000 XP, and 15,000 XP. Uh, Yeah, do whatever you're happy with, right? You can do these on easy, right? But, like, the more you do, and the more XP you get, right? You get a bunch of money and XP for this, right? 30,000. You get 60,000 XP for doing um, just the second lot, right? If you can do these. And that'll really rank your player up and make everything else easier. Because when you start out, you're proper rubbish. If you want to play offline. Do you mean like for the challenges and the basics stuff? When you've completed them, there'll be a new there'll be a new tab here that says rewards. So make sure you go there and actually pick up your XP. And then you can start spending skill points, right? Which will make you go for much better. You kind of miss a good week for earning money, but if you do the daily tournament, you can do this every 12 hours. You get a bit of money for this. Right, you can get up to 1500. And that's free to enter. But yeah, other than that, just grand career. You can start out as an amateur, which I'd suggest doing while you're a lower. Rank golfer, put the AI on easy, like zero if if needs to be. Yeah, those things. But yeah, definitely start with uh, the challenges, right? There are a bunch more. I've not done very many of them. But those early ones are definitely worth doing.
I've not done any of these. Hit two fairways in reg. Should be easy. Oh, I gotta get five. All five is a challenge as well, it says here. This is easy, right? You can just. Just use an iron, right? Boom. So we got three stars there, I think. See, that one I think you've got to put the boost on. What do I get for this? I don't know. Oh, you got a, you got a hammerhead driver. Decent XP again. Hmm. Yeah, the challenge is shut out. I hope. If you're struggling to know where to aim, put put that aim line on. Aim mark at the bottom there, above assisted aim. No? Yeah. And you can have it on full, short, full, or off. Uh, in fact, I'm going to just pop on the power boost just so I can do this challenge. Just 
Does it? You don't trust it. I found the arc okay, but the put read one is definitely off. <coughs> yeah. Right, let's see if we can do that uh, mission. This is fine. I'm okay Oi. with the events that are unfolding currently. Undertale. Undertale on, 2K23 raided my stream with 16 viewers. Let's give you a shout out, yeah? Still, I've got to make that putt. I've not seen it. You got a clip of it, all right? Uninstall. I've not seen, I've the not, game I've fucking been streaming sucks. Myself today. Sorry. Done it. It's so bad. You'll have to show me next time you're on. Is it me? Amazing. Oh. I forgot to do my power boost, but we got one. There we go. It's crazy, though. We just did. Oh, that's not a long drive. What? That should be right. Power. Yeah. Hit all five long drives. Okay, I fucked up one then. Never know. Take no more. Say, shall remember what we play for? What you been up to today on this? Right, that's, you just gotta overswing fast, right? Yeah, it's gone crazy, hasn't it? We're nearly up to a million across Twitter and TikTok. It's broke half a million. We're up to like 560k on TikTok, which is insane. And it's just broke 400k on Twitter, which is mad to me. It's mad. Yeah, we're feeling it now. We've been digging back into career mode. We just won it. Well, that New Jersey course. And we got Banner coming up. We're level 48. Two more to go. I got lots of shot. Yeah, I did. I got lots of shout. I noticed, like, you shouted me out 10 hours ago. Jimmy Bodham did yesterday. Yeah, and a few follows. Recoil, 
Bowser vein, I think, probably. <coughs> A few after gamer abilities of it. But yeah. Cool. It's just a funny clip. I'm glad it's making people happy, right? I love, like, some people are, like, using it as fuel against the A, and then you just got other people just enjoying it. It's all... It's been fun. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From beautiful Banff Springs in Alberta, live opening round coverage of the Alberta Open. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names. We've got dark horses. I'm okay We've got it all. As we look at the hey, thanks for the follow. The boy, watch. We've got a tie Zebra. at the top. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to get out of the gate strong. Uh, I prefer... One. Just because me and that I alt tab, it's way better. I don't even want to play full screen. Welcome on in, thank you. Good fellow. How are you? Tug just a bit, and we're gonna push it a little. Oh, that was a beautiful golf swing right there. Everything working in harmony. I've not really Great looked at the differences. In the fairway. Now from just 94 yards I think there's out, a bit of a quality. And not all the courses are equal in quality either. Which doesn't help. Like some of the 3D grass disappears a lot on some. And then others, they're like, you can see it all the way out, right? Oh, nice. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm chilling. We're just doing a bit of career mode. And the controller buttons. Are you maximizing the window before you go borderless? So launch it full screen without borderless. Then maximize the window. Then load up bot bottleless gaming. It should look better. It was good. I was happy That's with my reaction to that it. approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at ten to fifteen feet. Down to Iona. This Played out perfectly. Yeah, it's a long putt, so I could have oversold it. I could have undersold it. I think it was perfect. Getting this close. Well, I'm not sure how you could oversell that. Well, this one is looking good. Could it be? Mem. Oh, maybe a sign of things to come. A long one for Birdie at the first. And he'll be the first in the red figures as he grabs the early lead at one under par. Might be a bit long. Let's come back now. Okay, center of the green. Good shot. A birdie opportunity at two, and Nota Begay is down there. And he couldn't ask for a better setup from this distance. Just slightly uphill, something on the right edge could go in. Start yeah, but putting start does nothing. We're on free putting. At one and two. And getting out early is going to mean he is quickly out to a two-shot lead.
And that will do just fine. Now from a little less than 200 yards, this a second to the par five. That's not good. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. So after reaching this green in two, this a sizable putt for an eagle. Oh. Look at this putt. That is something special right there. From that far away, to gauge that speed, that is so well done. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. And that's going to stretch the lead to two shots. This is looking really good. That's all right. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle uh, face every it's different time. to 2K. On the middle of the dance floor. Depends what you're after. Up. The single player content in this is is 10 out of 10. The career mode, the challenges, it's great. The online, as it sits, is probably like 5 out of 10, 5, 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10. It's got cool tournaments, but that's about it. The head-to-head -head is pretty dead and doesn't have enough modes. And the private matches only have stroke play, which is bananas. So if you're looking for like a good ranked online experience, UK hands down wins. If you want a good single player experience, for now, Go with EA. I'm hoping more gets added to be online. This is turning a little to his left. Well, that's just a perfect tee shot, really. Exactly 90 yards. Gameplay, they both have their pros and cons. It depends what you like. I like this gameplay. I like both of the gameplays. They're different. This is much more about setting up your shot. And the swing is sort of like the one of the least important parts of the execution of the shot. Uh, it matters for sure. Turner, really. that was a green light but not like it does on TK. And, uh, far from the best shot I've seen today. Ah. Oh, the pace was spot on. That ball somehow just decided not to go down. I quite like that. One I like the off. outcome the of the putt in in this game. Like the, the, the actual the raw numbers, like the percentages made. But I'm not sure I love the execution of it. Like, well, how you get to that outcome. I do like the putting in this, though. It's... There's a lot more going on with it than 2K. That one up the right side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Like, the 10 footers on this game here, now a short are like 50-50. 2K... It's closer to like 80, 90%, right? But I didn't love it out of the gate. I like this out of the gate, but now I love it. Hole in one, bounce outs, bar that. Mm. 
not that time. Like, there's a few bits like that where, like, sure, I fucked up my shot, but there was no... No left break in that at all. I hope that answers the question. This round's been a clinic so far, and it's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. Ah. Uh. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well you right, see exactly. by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green landed so softly i didn't expect to hate it but the real question is right currently i think this is a fantastic 100 hour game right i think that's how long it's going to take to get like maxed out stats all the specs you want maybe win every event in career mode right but after that, they've got issues. I think they're going to have issues in a month when everyone's maxed out. Because no one's bothered about it right now. Well, they're bothered about the online. But it's not like a major thing because I think people are quite happy grinding their characters out in career mode or however they're doing it. But in a month's time, that there's going to be, okay, I'm maxed out. i got all the specs I want. What am I going to do now? Right. And the daily and weekly tournaments are only going to get you so far. Hey, I'll take it easy, buddy. Thank you again for the raise. And uh, I look forward to seeing the follower alert next time in them in your channel. I have. Like, I've been thinking about starting a very casual honor, honor system, happy, happy, joy, joy on this game. Where I pick a course, we have a, a thread in the Discord. Well, that one, unable to hold the green, it'll come back. And we just post screenshots. So we might get that rolling in a day or two. Yeah, and then anyone, any system can play then. You'd have to, like, it's going to be very much on there. Like, I get that people will be able to play multiple rounds. It'll be, I pick a course and the conditions, you input that shit, play it, and, that's and post, exactly his, post his scorecard. For his part. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. And we'll, I'll try and track track points and that mm. okay good roll there it is a par here at the eighth and he'll maintain that four shot lead so simple when you're going good doesn't it and that is yet another solid drive yeah A 
as close as you're going to see to a perfect perfect today. Oh, what a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Yeah, I think I'm on eight degree. Eagle earlier in the round, Frank, now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Why do you stand up there and just hit the shot? Yeah. No. Oh. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. So that's in for par to start this backside. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Now from just 94 yards out, this his second. Oi. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. 